Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today we are getting some things fun. We are doing some really fun things like going to the dollar store for first time in years. I've never been to this dollar store here in St. Peter's and it was full of all kinds of fun things. I thought these beads would be great for St. Patrick's Day. And I'm just kind of looking around at all the things and I'm just super amazed by all the options that you can get at the dollar store. While I'm here, I'm really not looking at anything in particular. I'm just seeing what they have. And of course, I have to, you know, play around and have fun because that's fun. I really am just simply amazed with all the things that you can get here at the dollar store for any of your parties, whether it's a kid's party or a bachelorette party. And of course I had to pick up more beads for Mardi Gras. <laughs> and I ran out of hands because I did not get a cart. And well, I just will wear them throughout the store and take them off and buy them at the register. I really like these little pom-pom puff ball things for a garland. I was actually contemplating getting those for the booth and just kind of zhuzhing up booth number two with it. And they sell cards. I did not know that they sold Hallmark cards here. Please let me know down below if anybody has ever used any of these um, vinyls for your Cricut. I really would love to hear your review on those. They have some really interesting fabric uh, squares here, these crafting squares. I'm really drawn to the gingham here and this blue box. This easel, I think is amazing. It would look really cute in a kitchen with your cookbook. Wow, let me know. I'm not sure if these candles are at every dollar store, but they are throwing off some really strong anthropology vibes. I thought they were really cute. I'm having a good time, but I have a question for you. When did it turn, when did the dollar store turn into a dollar 25? I haven't been here in so long. 700 rubber bands? Uh, yes, please. Bobby pins? 90 of them? Definitely, yes. Oh, well, that's the first for me in a long time, and... They've changed the prices from a dollar to a dollar twenty-five, which I can I can I can understand, totally understand. But we got some beads for Mardi Gras and then St. Patrick's Day because Max is a redhead and he works, and I thought maybe he would like some green beads when he goes to work. I don't know. It's kind of fun. Some of these clear rubber bands that you can just snip out of your hair and throw away. And bobby pins. You cannot buy bobby pins for $1.25, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. That's all we got, but <laughs> quite some interesting finds <laughs> in that store. But you know what's near me in St. Peter's is the white hair. The white hair is a glorious, glorious store. I think we should just pop in for a moment or two and just kind of look at their display um, items and how they display and how they stage their store just so we can get some good ideas and maybe you guys can find some goodies from the store. 
All right, guys, I'm going to hop into voice over because they had music playing really loud and I don't want to get copyrighted strike. But this is the white hair and it is a wonderful store. I hop in here every once in a blue moon, but I just love how they display their, their items. I'm looking at when I come to these stores, I'm just looking at how they display, how they set up their vignettes, because I think it's very interesting. Had I not gotten that table from Restoration Hardware, this would have been an excellent alternative. Isn't this plate holder just divine? Unfortunately, it was not for sale, but I love the black chippy paint on it and it was it was just so cute nestled in the corner. I had to share it. I think I'm just visually pulled to these barrel back swivel chairs. Very interesting pattern. Oh, oh, and this is such a great idea. Any of my fellow antique booth owners, that is such a great idea to use for pallets. You know, I think it's good to go out to the stores every once in a while to look at the prices of the furniture, for me anyway, since I refinished furniture, I can see what's out there on the market and I don't feel bad about the prices I charge because I feel like it's very much on par with some of the comps that I'm seeing. And here I'm trying out the swivel mechanism of the chair and I'm really digging this pallet wall. I wanted to show it to you again, obviously, but I think that's such a great idea to use pallets in this way. So I got an old door from auction a while ago and it's just kind of been hanging outside and I don't know what to do with it, but this, I have an idea now. I think that door would look great as something like this. What do you think? I think the sign would be so hilarious if somebody is still doing zoom meetings and this is in their background oh my goodness that would be so funny and this floor i was kind of drawn to it i didn't know what it was because it looked painted on but after inspection it's just like vinyl squares that they've put on in just like a haphazard pattern for the floor Again, just looking at their vignettes and doing some market research on some of the furniture. I just love how they display their stuff here in this bookshelf. It's not overcrowded. It's just very, very fun, relaxed. This book here is Jane Austen, and I pulled it out because I didn't know if it was a real book, but I'm flipping through the pages and I now realize it's totally uh, a novel volume for for Jane Austen so I had to pick that one up just really soaking it all in looking at all the books that they're offering just kind of seeing the kind of stuff that they're selling here in the store just kind of absorbing all this wonderful fun atmosphere If anyone wanted a fun idea, you can put your geographical address on a spine of some books. I think that was such a wonderful idea. And these bookends are really throwing me off some CB2, some kind of those edgy contemporary stores.
I'm just loving how they're mixing all kinds of styles together. You have industrial, you have French country, you have farmhouse, you have contemporary. They're just kind of throwing all these styles together in kind of like little vignettes, color coordinated vignettes. And I think that's what's pulling it all together. And I think that you can have a, a mix of styles. If you see behind the chairs, you see how they just have vignettes together and they just have these French doors as dividers. I thought that was actually a pretty cute idea. So that was upstairs. Now let's go downstairs where they have even more fun things to look at. I am drawn to this arch. As soon as you walk through the door, you're greeted by this twig arch. And I love how they have it just kind of interwoven with these lights. <laughs> That's a fun sign right there. Just moving on to more of the display items and you'll kind of see they continue to do a mix of all kinds of styles and it works it just all works in most of their rooms they created they always have like a fireplace or a faux fireplace in it and i just thought that was a great idea I love the black wall. <laughs> you guys know me, I'm drawn to that color. And this big sign I thought was such a spectacular idea. Again, just kind of looking at their serving pieces and these kind of fun sayings on the stuff. But yes, I love this sign. Isn't this massive piece just stunning? Uh, yes, I would love one <laughs> for my house. Here's a smaller version. Um, I'm struggling a little bit to open it up, but here you go, a nice full view. I'm looking at this console table and that is so on trend this year. It's that rounded edge with the fluting detail along with these uh, crosses. Uh, X marks the spot tables and side tables. I'm digging the <laughs> chandelier display items. I'm liking this room, but it's kind of throwing me off a little bit. Um, I'm really liking this leather chair and the drum side tables. Here's a really cute display option for the Easter time a lot with, it looks like lavender lilacs. One thing to note, the white hair is very strong on their floral um, tidbits. And I am, again, loving their display, but I like how they just threw all these baskets haphazardly on this archway here and it's it's so so imaginative i wouldn't have ever thought to do that in my booth but you can bet your dollar i'm going to try to do that in my booth <laughs> this is my favorite too it's a strong imaginative display of uh carrots hanging from the ceiling such a good spring easter kind of display oh wasn't that the most glorious store ever? <laughs> I hope you had fun, as much fun as I did. I got so many display ideas that I can use in my booth. Let's go to the ReStore. It closes at six. Looking back at it, I should have picked up this chandelier but I felt like it might be too big and for a display piece in my booth I think thought people might like hit their head on it but for three dollars I could totally you know fix that up any of them I could have fixed up spray painted them what have you and I'm just kicking myself I should have picked them up well 
there wasn't a lot there. <laughs> but what I was looking for was like crystal chandeliers. What I'm looking for in particular is stuff for booze and uh, the girly booth, the one that I want to make into a girly booth. And I was thinking maybe crystal, you know, like the bathhouse when we, when we went there and looked at the display in the store of the bathhouse is lofty and girly and industrial, but yet shabby chic. And so that's what I'm kind of looking for when I'm finding decor pieces so I can put into the booth. But the white hair, I love those baskets in the arch. Um, and then I also love that archway when you walk into the booth. Um, it was just two planters and some twigs going around in an arch and they had this time little birds on it. So that's kind of, I think, I think that's kind of what I want. I want ex an experience like, like Magnolia seasonally will change their decor or their display. And that's what I want. I want to do display, but I'm liking the basket arch. And then I like, I guess it really wasn't an arch, but I like the baskets hanging up on the pole. And I also like, the archway going in so i think as much as i don't want to we're going to have to go to goodwill because they have a good selection on some baskets so we'll have to gather some baskets and see if we can't use them for display as well i don't know it's worth a try I am going to go visit Gracie for just a little bit, but I will hop back on here in just a second. <laughs> 